Have you ever wondered what is epilepsy and what is the daily routine of a person living with this disorder? I didn't. I didn't until I had an experience that shocked my world. All happened in the Netherlands during an internship at Kempenhage Epilepsy Centrum. It was a sunny day until the lightning struck. A person next to me suffered a seizure and I felt so nervous because I didn't know how to help him. That was the moment that motivated me and my team to start helping this problem. As you probably know, epilepsy is the most common cerebral disorder. Worldwide, it affects over 65 million people, and researchers say between 15 and 20% of the death causes are related to sudden, unexpected death in epilepsy. This implies the need of immediately help with each passing minute. The probability of waking up from a seizure falls by 10% and the World Health Organization estimates up to 60,000 new cases each year. In Romania, there are officially 200,000 people living with epilepsy, but unofficial, this number rises to 500,000. The biggest problem is when the unexpected hits you. You cannot move yourself, and you're trapped inside your own body. And this is not over. These people face serious discrimination. Even if we're talking about adults or children with epilepsy, they all have the same problem. Discrimination. They prefer to hide it and live with it in secret, assuming on their own the risk of not receiving the proper help in case of an undesired event happens. For adults, they live an independent life. But if they do this, no one will be there to help them in case of a seizure. I would like to ask you something. Think about how many of you dreamed about being heroes when you were just a child. I will tell my story. I've never admired uh, a character more than a person. Because people are good. And for example, even if Batman or Superman saved the day, they all offered justice. Happiness is hard to be offered, especially in these circumstances. But at least we can offer hope. Through our system, you all have the opportunity to be heroes someday. But how exactly can you help? Well, think about mobile phones. We use the mobile phone still now for making calls, sending SMS messages, um, posting things on Facebook, and look, search the internet for something, and so on and so forth. It's 2015, and we realize that we can use the mobile phones as a mean of interconnection between me as a patient and the outside world. So the people can help me if I have a problem because my mobile phone will be used as a speaking tube. We made a system which consists of a heart rate monitor, which is connected via Bluetooth Low Energy to an Android or Windows phone application. We save all the data on our web server. If a seizure occurs, there are two ways of alerting. First, locally is triggered an alert with the um, first set instructions that a person needs to follow in order to help. So, this is the moment when everyone around transforms into a guardian. If you hear the phone, you just have to grab it, look at the instructions and follow them. And you can be a hero someday. To avoid the situations where no one is around or no one is helping, the application will also send a notification to the guardians with the GPS coordinates and the medication in real time. More than that, a journal of the previous activity is saved on our web server where the magic happens. We want to collect data in order to act and to improve the algorithm in the future. 
On the graph below me, you can see with red marked the seizure. So doctors can use this information to provide a better treatment for the patients in the future. The idea started on June 2014, together with Dr. Konstantin Unguranu from Technical University of Eindhoven. Since then, we attended medical-related conferences and collaborate with doctors from both Romania and the Netherlands. Uh, the first important accomplishment for us is when we published a prototype of the application on Google Play. And by the mid of November, together with doctors from Kempehage Epilepsy Centrum, researchers from Philips, professors from Technical University of Eindhoven, we published and presented a scientific article at Ambient Intelligence Conference in the Netherlands. We also succeeded to obtain the first place at Imagine Cup National Finals a Mobile Pro Student Session Communication. But one of the most important accomplishments for us was when we represented our country at Imagine Cup, a contest where innovators are fighting ideas with one purpose, to make world a better place. But like every usual startup, we have a story behind. Every startup started in, in the garage. We did the same. First, we got out in public and pitched our idea at Innovation Labs. We had a big problem because a lot of people told us, great idea, amazing idea, but it's not that profitable. After the contest, the team started to wonder, should we continue? Can we continue? Do we have the means? And we decided to apply at another contest, hoping that all those people were wrong. We applied at Imagine Cup and we represented not only Romania, but also the Central and Eastern Europe. But again, we came back in Romania with no investors. The team started to wonder, because the end was closer and closer, until we found out about a, a 25,000 euros grant from the European Union. We channeled all our resources of engineers to make this uh, possible, and we wrote the business plan in, in four days. We succeeded to obtain the grant, the 25,000 euros grant from the European Union, and now we made a certificate of collaboration with Dr. Georgia Moisa from Alexandro Breja Hospital in Bucharest, and also with the Association for Drave and other rare epilepsies. A few days ago, the vice president of the Association for Drave and other rare epilepsies in Germany called us that they want to be a part of the testing process that we are doing right now. This is the wonderful team that did this uh, project together. Uh, that one is Andre, Roxana is in the middle, and it's me, of course. We are a team of engineers and computer scientists with a common vision to use our technical skills and knowledge to solve health problems that society is facing. I would like to, to say something else, because it's November, and in November, in the United States of America, it was declared it, as it be the, uh, the, the epilepsy month, well, people there paint their hair in purple, dress in purple, or, or even sell cookies to donate the money to support people living with epilepsy there. The mentality here is different. A 40 years old lady came to us and told, beside us and her husband, no one knows about her condition. This must change, and this must change now. Beside the elementary features, like real-time detection of epileptic seizures or a journal of the previous uh, activity, Epsidet is more. You can choose your guardians, but why don't you try to transform everyone around into a guardian? Epsidet provides freedom, safety, and gives people satisfaction. Thank you all.